for is a Static Peach main. Uh, Blackbird, I'm not too familiar with, but this is a very sound team. I think... Uh, yeah, run Mithra and Peach. Yeah, that actually sounds pretty nice. I'm just and thinking in my head, like, what? how do they complement each other? Because um, that's something to also consider in your team comps. I know Cheryl and uh, Ray right now being hella cringe, repping the Genshin tags right now. <laughs> oh, I've, I stopped playing Genshin, like, after two months. I had no idea that was a Genshin thing. Oh, uh, it most definitely is. And right now, from the looks of it, Bird and uh, Player 4 in a really decent position right now. It can go either way, but I think they're trying to focus more so on Cheryl at the moment, just trying to get her off on the top. Also, basic music choice, by the way. Almost oh, definitely. And, I, and correct me if I'm wrong, I don't think it's affected by copyright, so we should be in the clear. We'll find out when the VOD so. goes up. Uh-oh. Ray without Luma right now. He's trying to rush in, but a really unsafe dash attack on Steel. We're going to punish him, but nothing too bad. Oh, they're doing really good though. Bird and people are just sort of occupying both different ends, trying to sort of smuggle them in together. But the moment they're off stage, the other mm -hmm. the other teammate just rushes in trying to provide some sort of support. Like we see this happening right now, how they're sort of just playing on opposite ends of one another. And Mithra is definitely like one of the few characters who can like she can do something on one end of the screen, dart, dash around, help their partner, and then dart like dash back in to keep the other person disadvantaged if she needs to. Most definitely, and right now, Cheryl almost got the kill right there, but nothing quite coming out of it. Oh, Alright, DBZ, but no one uh, biting the bucket yet. Everyone's still, like, on their first talk. I'm surprised. They're, everyone here is predominantly a light character. Oh, there it is. And a there really impressive fair coming from Cheryl right there, and a really good downer. Oh, okay. The timing was immaculate. Yeah, they didn't allow any time for the other opponent to try to recover their partner to the safety either. Alright, Dash Attack going to scoop up Robin before she can... Right now in a really dangerous spot. 127 though, wasn't able to get any conversions off of that, but getting the up tilt check chase right there. Player 4 taking so much damage just in the span of a few seconds. Definitely. And I, I have to imagine too, for a lot of players, it can be incredibly difficult just trying to keep a mental track of where everyone is right now. Because as a caster, I'm already <laughs> struggling just a oh little bit God. trying to understand what's going on. There's a lot of... There's a lot of visual noise on the screen, which is, like, for me personally, part of the reason why I don't play doubles as often, unless I'm just doing it for fun, but it does, it is, like you said, a skill to keep in mind, especially in this format, where if you can, if you can assess everything that's going on, like, at a glance, then you'll do better than someone who has trouble just focusing on the one character. Uh, we see that right oh, now, I and, was gonna come and Ray out. almost got the upper kill off of the top with the sour spot. It doesn't matter, gets the air smash killing P4 at a pretty solid 80%. And as and if you saw, he lost that stock because he was committed to pummeling and then back throwing. Definitely. In doubles, if you, you if you're going that. if you have to throw, then you want to do it in a way where either don't pummel at all and use your fastest move just to like get it out the way, or have your partner cover you because it just leaves you open unless you're Unless you have a throw that like hits the partner like Mario's back throw. And that was a screen. really impressive recovery by uh, Utopian right there, just going barely above the uh, Peach Nair. Elwin's out of uh, uses, so he's gonna nick her. No, just take her off the top and knock uh, Ray up the side. Alright, so far this is still relatively even. Bird at two stock lead, but at 143%, just a breath yeah, on them. Yeah, here in a moment. Ooh. And there we go, just like that. Got a little bit too aggro, got punished for it. Oh, uh -oh. that was her this second could be jump. really bad. Oh, and Ray coming Ray in with the with clutch. The save. Like the best partner he can be. On oh, a really good fair string coming out from Cheryl. What uh -oh. happened? Oh, I think he perfectly timed this so that way that attack would just lead into that stock. Oh, and unfortunate. Shoot by the Pyro Up right. Smash. Alright, this, this is isn't a tall, too bad this is a tall right now. This order for Rosalina as a tall uh, character. On oh, missing of the conversion right there, not getting anything out of it. These percents, it's not impossible, but... Oh, you have to play so well. Yeah, yeah, and, and there we go. A nicely timed spot dodge. The first game going to Blackbird and Leia 4. We did see that that was, that was a pretty long and close game. Like, it, it wasn't sided to just one particular team. Oh, not at all. And that's what you want to see, especially in winter semis. Definitely.
For the most part, though, I don't see, I don't imagine we're gonna see any character changes coming from both sides. I think they're very comfortable with the characters that they're playing, and it's just that small little adaptation that Cheryl and Ray have to do if they want to stand a chance to beating Player Four and Blackbird. Uh, Ray has like, no, I want to say like a whole pantheon, but he definitely has like a a juggling act of characters, so to speak. Definitely. I, I don't imagine yeah, he him has switching, a, like I know he has a Palu. I haven't seen a Palu in a very long time, but that I know he true. has one. Um, has a quite a like played a bit of banjo too, but I don't know how good banjo is in doubles. Honestly, though, I think or the hard thing practice. about this is that it's just knowing that Pyra Myth is going to be there because you have this um, character dynamic where they can just go in, be it's aggro, really, get all really this damage. It's really three versus two when exactly. the Aegis is on the screen. And then if it's in a two v one scenario, they can just switch to Mithra, and then all of a sudden now you have this character that can just kill you at like fifty. But like you said, the characters are staying locked in. We are now going to Kalos. There's going to be a lot more space for the two of these players to sort of interact with, evade, maybe be a bit more defensive. We're going to see. Oh, dude, Cheryl already coming in just wanting blood with that art fire right there. Didn't get anything too much out of it, though. But it actually does help a lot on the stage, especially with the platforms the way they are. I think if you stand, like, toward the front-facing, like, the main platform-facing ledge of one of the platforms, art fire will go almost all the way across the screen. Just that perfect uh, distance. And they're just scrapping right now. Oh my god. Oh my lord. Oh, that was a really scary spot for Cheryl right there. Almost could have died at 76. Alright, shooting them off. Right now. And a really good kill by Ray right there. It was able to capitalize off of the fact that P4 didn't have any support coming in from Bird. Yeah, Peach is a character like can sometimes struggle getting enough disadvantage in against a character like Rosa, who has probably one of the best chasing up airs in the game to, oh, it's like, I mean, to it's pursue, not, especially it's especially when you're fighting a floaty character. Oh man. Oh no, fortunate that fair coming in, taking the stock right there. Uh for the most part, though, this is still relatively even. Same Almost thing with game did one. It again. Try the ledge, yup, and that's that's the stock. A really good ledge trap coming in from Cheryl right there. Mm, but the team kill. I know she didn't mean it. Uh oh. She didn't and mean that. She, uh, she, she didn't mean that. Herself. Oh, watch it, watch this. Uh, oh, unfortunately, kind of over. Wasn't right quite there. in position there, but that would have been a very uh -oh. good spot. Oh, we grab the ledge. No punish though. Nothing size one anyway. Oh my goodness. Like I said, a lot of these times these players are just sort of playing just barely close to one another, coming in for support in case something happens. And I think that they're just trying to sort of break the two of them apart so that way they have more space to interact That's and get what they want to get off. Alright, I like the dash back force smash. Alright, last talk for both members of the red team. Cheryl and Ray, not in the most healthiest spots, but definitely nothing too dangerous quite yet. As long as they don't get gimped or maybe a sudden random F smash Ooh. coming out from Bird right there. That's another reason Pyro is so good in this format. Just, uh, you know, if you see like a bunch of Nazis going on the other side of the screen, if your partner can survive the hit, just uh, let him have it. Hit him with a smash flare and, and blow him up. <laughs> Cheryl not surviving that nair coming off on the edge right there at 100%. P4 is doing a really good job of trying to take these stocks, but at 91%, it looks like they're about to be coming to an end just anytime soon. I would have would have gone for the up smash there since they're stuck I think in it's really up. pivotal right now that Cheryl tries to stay on for as long as possible, taking on this 52%. They don't want to take too much damage and leave Ray by himself again. I saw a four throw, but Ray comes in trying to make sure his partner comes back safely. That's the way to do it. Oh, and that barely just doesn't kill. I can imagine that. At this point, it's just who overcommits first? Who costs their partner the game? Exactly. Oh! Oh, and that was... Oh, my God. Now, hold on. <laughs> Still at a 0%, zero, zero this isn't anything too bad, but if Cheryl dies right here, Ray's gonna have to be facing with a, a Mytho with 152%. That, yep, yep, rapid jab at ledge, that percent. Especially with Luma involved, but Levin Bear going to seal that game to... These are very close games, I'm happy Most to see definitely. It.
I just realized that's Pyro. I've been calling her Mithra the entire time. Yeah, they he picked that skin on purpose. You know, you know. Oh my god, I, I hate it. To full so to full casters just like you. No, am, am that's I... not that's not a shot at you. Just people will do that to also add visual confusion, especially in this format. Definitely. Where if if you're unaware, so if you're not looking at the character portrait, or just know how their swords look, uh, you may be in trouble. Yeah, from the looks of it right now, they're banning battlefield in town and city. I think we might. See a run. We're definitely not seeing Kalos, I imagine. I don't think they want to go back to that stage, especially how it went down for them. Yeah. I think I. What's this fucking? I missed that. That's special. They were about to see. No, I'm putting my bets on FD right there. Trust me. Mm, maybe. Or maybe it's just PS2 the classic. Uh, oh, small battlefield. Okay. I think this is a relatively. This is actually could be a really good stage for a uh, Pyra and Mithra right here. Just especially for the fact Mithra, because this is the. Sh if I'm not mistaken, this is like the shortest main platform length of all competitive legal stages. Most definitely. So that's either, speed either that or Smash or one. Yeah, the speed difference isn't going to matter much if all it takes just like maybe a second just to get across the other side. And like she also has the best. If I'm not mistaken, the best initial dash in the game. So oh yeah, it's crazy. She can just go and swing and. Wow, I actually have enough time to. Switch and follow up off the air fire. Oh my god. It was as it may have been. Yeah, Pyro right now just doing a lot of work right now, getting that damage Ooh, and Ray that though, almost unfortunately cost it cost him. He got two aggro and all it took was one Pyro Nair and that's it. That's the stock. Pyro Nair sending straight up is so disgusting to me. Notice how Bird isn't going Mithra. He's just going all in for damage. There's yeah. no point going all that speed and like minimal damage if you just get a stock early at eight percent, especially in the doubles format. On the back of coming out from Cheryl, doing a really good job, and unfortunately just dies that right off the bat. Immediately answering back. I know we're seeing all these stocks being taken, but if you look at the scoreboard right now, this is still relatively close. P4 at 118%, it's equivalent of just being at two stocks. Che accidentally getting the uh, sour hit of Levin Bear, not quite clutching out there. Oh, unfortunately. Oh, oh, that could have been a really dangerous spot. Good catch. Yeah, baiting out the counter right there, getting for a really good up smash. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is why we don't counter disadvantage nine times out of ten. And this is also happen. why we don't counter disadvantage when there's four players on the screen. True. Oh, oh. and he got the gimp. That was really crucial coming and, from race part. And had just enough time to correct himself to make that straight up recovery. That's something that only, like, you know, Good Rosa mates know how to do. Definitely. Being able to evade the up B2, that could have easily gone to a gimp on both of their ends. Right now, what looked like a really close game now is sort of leaning more towards Ray and Cheryl at the moment. Prominence Revolt uh, missing its mark. Just trying to blow people Oh, unfortunately, Cheryl almost killing Ray off of that Nair. Oh, this is really crucial. Cheryl in a really bad spot is what I would say when they immediately countering back with that oh, up air. Oh, hold on, hold on. Let's follow up. Down air. Ooh! Oh, so close. The idea was sound. They ready Trevor's move. Oh, did the Levin run out? I think so. Right now, this yeah, is looking like yeah, a really good position right now. If it Okay. Mm. I was going to say until unfortunately Ray used Star Glitter to unfortunately put Cheryl in a really awkward position. Yeah, hate to see it. And Bird at 129%. And... Oh, and a really good readout by Utopian right, right there. I was there. literally just about to say, you know, if Bird can stay, so if Bird can like duck and weave with Mithra and survive a little bit, it might not be the end of the world, but uh, mm, we not quite. We definitely don't want to count player four out just yet. We know the potential that Peach has to just rack up some insane damage like it's nothing. And while being relatively safe at that too. Oh, okay. And we're kind of seeing that right now at the moment. Just evading all of these hits. Oh my god. Yo, play for the movement? Hold on. Oh, and he missed the grab, unfortunately. Yo, that double up smash just like to the heavens with you. Oh, that's insane. All it took was one with grab. Just like that. Went from 20 to 113% like it was nothing. Did you see how that Arc Thunder was placed to catch the jump? Uh, I didn't, I appreciate you telling me that. That, that, was, that was peak. Like ledge coverage. Oh my god, they're just playing there. so patient right now. Just trying to get something, but... Rosalina at 53%. This is going to be a really tough hill for oh, wait, Thorns charge. 
Is it gonna happen? Please, I need it once. I need it once in my life. Oh, it doesn't even you know need what? to. Did, all the it. The set goes to Ray and Noche. Oh, that was a really good set. I'm, I'm really close on both ends, honestly. I Ooh, will say though, I, if it wasn't for the fact that Ray got that like clutch like gimp on the down air against uh, yeah, Pyro, yeah. that could have been a lot closer. Absolutely, but uh, that's what Synergy does, and now they're going to be squaring off against Karkson and Booty in the other half of uh, Winners Finals.